Okay, here's my lovely old 1987 last of the uh, troll hat and salves, the old trolls. Uh, it's 900, it's a four, four door saloon as you can see. It's got the eight valve injection engine, none turbo. But to be honest, that's the most reliable engine, these ones. Uh, a little bit on the body here. It's a strange place to have them. I looked on the MOT, previous failures, he said he needed welding advisors underneath, but there aren't any. You got mixed up with these doors, a little bit on the doors there, where they always go. This one's worse here. That needs sorting out. It's not an MOT failure, but it was down as an advisor because I think they thought it was a silly. It's a common mistake. The MOT tester thinks it's a silk. But underneath it's very solid. I've had it on the ramps, had it all checked over. Doesn't need any welding. Tires are pretty good. Uh, nice big old boot. Very solid under here. It's got the boot welly. Very solid under there. No welding needing doing down there. Got the super slim with crap wheel. Uh, let's see. Oh, come here. Right. Uh, what else can I say? I put another exhaust on it. Oh. I got a, a second hand one actually. From a, it was a good second hand one. It didn't quite fit properly. So that's a do a bit of foraging on the front. I think the clamps are a little bit loose. It blows a little bit from there. But it's not rusty. But it's not super clean. It's all there. Is it on the back shelf? There's a little hole there. You can see that, where is it? Uh, hang on, let me show you here. A little hole there, it's pretty annoying. But again, you could just cover that with something. Uh, it's a bit mucky, I'm not, because it's got no, it's sawn, and I've got no insurance now, I can't take it down to have it vacuumed, but it's all very solid underneath. Let's pop the bonnet and show you that. Got it, the head was gone. Uh, in fact, I took it off, I'll, I'll put some pictures. I took it off and it actually dropped um, the cam, cam, uh, cam follower had gone, it has smashed the follower a bit. Anyway, I put a whole new head on. I put a, uh, an 8 valve turbo head on because it's uh, sodium filled valves in there, it's the same cam. And that way you can run it on unleaded petrol without any problem. Um, in here, again very mucky but no, no welding needs to do anything down here. Uh, yeah, like I say, new head gasket, new fan belt, doesn't lose any water or oil, it runs great now. It runs great. Oh, I put a new battery on it as well. New battery the other day, actually. Brand new battery. It's charging fine. The system's great. <laughs> Biggest problem we got is actually the sunroof's broken. So you need to mess around and figure out how to fix the sunroof. I, I couldn't do all that. I don't have time to mess with that. So the sunroof doesn't work. There's a bit of a hole in the seat here, which is a bit of a shame as well. But otherwise, it's pretty good in here. Although dirty. Let's start it up. All the gear is good, the clutch had a new clutch before I bought it. It's all pretty good really. I say a bit mucky, the entire knee is doing that little bit of welding on the doors. The other doors are fine. And I don't know if you can hear that exhaust is blowing just a little bit. But like I say, I think a clamp needs tightening up. Uh, it, it shouldn't, it's not rusty because I only had it put on six months ago. See these doors are good this side. So even then, they always go on the doors, these, but these two are really good. You just need to sort the bottom of those doors out. Um, it's 145,000 miles. All the correct hubcaps and everything. Nice car. Only cost me £290 to insure it, fully comp. Uh, I think that was a big breakdown, actually, with Lancaster. Uh, and there she is. What a darling. It drives great, the gears are good, it pulls really well. A bit fluffy when it's cold start, it kind of hovers around the, the idle. But as you can see, it sounds great now, there's no expensive noises, the engines are bulletproof. This is the most reliable engine, the non turbo 8 valve. Plenty of power, it's got a, a nice steering wheel upon it, I'd line around for my spares. 146,000 on it, of course you never know if that's alright with an old car. But I think that looks about right to me. Uh, like I said, the biggest problem is the sunroof. But I mean, apart from that, good old solid, reliable car. You get 30 to the gallon without too much trouble. I suppose if you drive it like a nutty, you wouldn't get that, but it's not difficult to cruise there at 70, 80 and get 30 plus to the gallon. Gotta go, no reserve.